Rock fans all over are remembering the life and career of music icon Chester Bennington today. The 41-year-old Linkin Park singer was found dead in CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live. He's in Palos Verdes Estates where he was found and it looks like suicide, Jeff. That is what the coroner's office is telling us, Sandra and Rick. And in fact, since this afternoon, we've been seeing family and friends show up at this property. A little while ago, bandmate Joe Hahn, who's the DJ of Lincoln Park, pulled into this driveway. Right now, you can see this property is completely fenced off during this time of morning. And as fans learn about what happened, many, are, or at least a few, are stopping by to pay their respects. Less than two months after Lincoln Park singer Chester Bennington performed Hallelujah at the funeral of his friend, musician Chris Cornell. Music fans are mourning the loss of Bennington's high pitched screams that often showcase the anguish in his lyrics. Today, a fence was put up around this Palos Verdes estate's home, where the LA County Coroner's Office says it's investigating Bennington's death as a suicide. Dave Myers says Bennington and his family moved into the neighborhood about six weeks ago. Very good neighbors. Bandmate Mike Shinoda spoke on behalf of Lincoln Park with a tweet saying, shocked and heartbroken, but it's true. Why wasn't anybody there for him? <laughs> Today, at CBS radio station KROQ, Bennington was the subject of a tribute in which callers shared their sorrow with on air personality Stryker, who says Bennington grew up in Arizona, but Lincoln Park. Formed in Southern California. They were our friends, our friends musically. We watched them grow in every single way. <clears throat> I'm just totally crushed. I heard the news and I couldn't move off my bed. Bennington had been open about drugs and alcohol addiction that had fueled many of his hits. And in May, he was one of many rock stars who paid tribute to Soundgarden singer Chris Cornell, who committed suicide. And I think he was beyond crushed by Chris Cornell. Today is Chris Cornell's birthday, but who knows? how much that had to do with this terrible tragedy. Bennington helped Linkin Park to blend hip hop with rock and electronic music. The group gained praise for their collaboration with rapper Jay-Z. At the home where Bennington is believed to have taken his own life, neighbors say they will remember a normal guy who was a family man. For being a rock star lead singer, he, he was very friendly and, and uh, conversational. And Bennington leaves behind six children from two marriages. For now, we'll send it back to you.